so today we are covering the Adidas Booznitz Volk 2s. Uh, interesting shoe. I have owned a pair of these in the past, not the Volk 2s, but I have owned the Pros. So I'm kind of going to be mishmashing both of my sides of the table here, both, both shoes from what I remember from the last shoe. And here's the beat up one. So this one is not super bad. Um, the reason I stopped skating it was because there is a split down right here that you can see. It just made it feel like I was kicking through the bottom of my shoe and it also made it so that I just felt like I didn't really have a whole lot of control. Um, I, I, I have some stuff to say about this shoe. So I skated this shoe from early February to April early April, like the first week of April. So I only skated it for like two months. Not too long, not super long. And you know, looking at the shoe, they definitely still did have some life left in them. Like, I mean, I hadn't even broke through this part of the suede. Yeah, I had gone through the front and I had gone through the extra front, um, but the sole was still plenty thick. The texture's gone on, the, on my main, like my forward foot, but and there was still plenty of life left in these sides it still could have had some life. I probably could have got more than a month out of those. No problem. What I remember through the last time I skated them though, they all, they did not last very long, like at all. I remember going through them super quickly and being super bummed because they spent a bunch of money on them. So technology wise, it's nothing super crazy. Um, it's got, you know, a good sole. It's got an extra protective sole on the bottom. I don't know exactly what that's for or if that's all for just being the sole. I don't know if it's there for comfort or not. It's like a leather coated canvas toe cap, but uh, I went through those super quickly. Like, I mean, I've only skated these for two months and I'm already through the front of the shoe like that. Uh, either I need to change something in my skating or this shoe, I don't know. Obviously it's a Volk, so you're gonna have better flick. Not a super chunky heel. The first session I skated in them, I had a really hard time adjusting and I'm pinning most of that up with Vans. Obviously the biggest like variable is me and how I'm skating with a lot of this. So take this stuff with a grain of salt. Um, I had a rough time adjusting to these and I think that's just because I've never really been a fan of the Adidas stuff. Uh, I don't like something about them. They just feel off to me. The one thing that these shoes do have going for them though is they're extremely comfortable, especially when you first put them on. They're, they're really comfortable. It feels like you're walking on air. It's got nice pillowy outsides. This insole's really pillowy. It's awesome. They feel really comfortable for about the first week you skate in them. And then when they hard pack, the insoles, in my opinion, are terrible. I dislike the insoles as well. In fact, the last, the previous pair that I had owned before, the Pros, which are a slightly different construction, and I liked those ones a bit better than these ones, there was virtually no break-in with these. Like, they they were really flexible from the get. Heel flips, in my, ugh, they just didn't work very well with these. I was able to figure them out, and the heel flips are always a little harder to figure out with a Volk, but they're just, they just weren't super awesome. Hard flips, I would flick them, catch them, center down. It was okay. I was landing a bit forward. I was able to get over that. But as I said in the previous video, those two tricks are tricks that I can do that kind of give me an idea of whether or not I'm going to like the shoe. And based on the way those true two tricks feel, they feel okay. I wouldn't, they're nothing special. I already kind of went over some of the bad stuff. The insole, I really dislike. I really dislike how I went through that toe area so fast. I wish they would have another hard layer there or they used some kind of different material that was more rigid, I guess. I mean, considering I only skated these for uh, two months and they're as bad as they are. I mean, the sole still has plenty of life. The outside, not so much. I probably would have started hitting my toe here soon. For skating, I think they're way, like I think they're super expensive for what they are, um, which is a bummer because I, Booznitz is one of my favorite riders. And I bought that shoe when it first came out and I thought it was awesome for like two weeks and then I just slowly started to hate it. It's always been the rough part about these shoes because I really, really want to like them because I love Booznitz and Another really nice thing about these shoes is they're extremely light and they're extremely flexible. So they got really good board control. Not as good as Anthony Van England's that I previously have reviewed, but they are extremely 
similar. They're close, not quite there, but close. I think the price difference is not a whole lot different. I think you can get the Volks for like $10 cheaper than the Pros. If it were me, I would go with the Pros. Um, I wouldn't do the Volks again. I think the, I remember when I skated the Pros, they were, they just felt a lot better. It lasted a bit better than these, but I do remember wearing through those ones extremely quick. Overall, do I think they're worth it? I mean, it really kind of depends. Uh, depends on what you like. Obviously, if you like a really light shoe and you do a lot of tech stuff, go for it, man. I mean, that's, that's one thing people need to remember, these shoe reviews. They're... A lot of it is super subjective and a lot of it is dependent on how the skaters skated in them. Uh, so I mean, somebody could have a totally different experience than me. Yeah, I have never been a huge fan of the Adidas. I've always thought they were overpriced, the insoles weren't very good, and I wore through them super quickly. And I don't know why that is, maybe just the way I skate, I wear through things really quickly, Or, but I mean, considering Vans, they tend to last a bit longer, I tend to go with the Vans. That being said, um, if I can pick these up on a deal, I will because when you first get them, that first week is like gold. It, it, they're really comfortable. I cannot stress how comfortable they are. They are super comfortable. I love them the first week. After they hard pack, they're kind of crap and I would recommend switching out the insoles because when it comes to skating, they skate just like everything else. They skate, they're great, they're fine after you get used to them. I just dislike how quickly they wear out and the fact that I have to buy another set of insoles to put in them because the ones they come with are crap. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.